So welcome back again students to another video lesson. So we are now on the uh, PIP week of our video lesson for grade 8 mathematics quarter 2. So after nating i-discuss yung process ng pag ng linear functions, so we are now on solving problems involving linear functions. So let's have the lesson objective. So, we will solve word problems involving linear functions. So, kagaya lang din ng mga ibang areas, ibang topics ng mathematics. So, meron din pong real-life applications yung linear functions. So, let's have the first problem. So, Jerry is in the business of preparing refrigerators. He charges a base fee of 200 pesos for each visit and 120 pesos per hour for his labor. So, gumagawa po ng uh, refrigerator si Jerry. Uh, Nagre-repair siya ng mga sirang refrigerator. And then, yung pinaka-basic fee niya is 200 pesos. It means, kapag nag-visit ka sa kanya, so yung ibabayad mo kahit wala pang isang oras is 200 pesos. And then, kapag inabot ka ng isang oras, magbabayad ka ng 120 pesos sa kanyang labor. So, for our question or uh, statements, so for letter A, write a linear function to represent the total cost C of X for a visit and X hours of labor. So, i -re represent natin yung given problem using a linear function. And then, construct a table of values to show the total charge for the first 3 hours. So after nating i-represent yung linear function, so that's the time na gagawa tayo ng table of values para makita kung magkano yung total charge for the first 3 hours. And then, if Jerry was able to finish repairing a refrigerator to one of his customers in 7 hours, what will be the total charge for his labor? So, Kung sa letter B, pinakita natin kung magkano yung total charge for the first 3 hours. So, ipapakita naman natin sa letter C kung magkano ang babayaran ng isang customer kung uh, 7 hours yung labor ni Jerry. So, for our solution, so letter A, write a linear function to represent the total cost C of X for a visit and X hours of labor. So, based from the given problem, ang basic fee niya is 200 pesos for each visit. And then, 120 pesos naman ang china charge niya sa kanyang labor per hour. So, kung isusulat natin yung linear function ng given problem na yan, so, we'll write it as C of X is equal to 200, ito yung basic fee niya, and then plus 120 X. So, yung X dito is the number of hours of labor. So, hours of labor yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, pwede rin natin siyang isulat as C of X is equal to 120X plus 200. So, yung uh, linear function, sinusulat siya as F of X is equal to MX plus B. So, para nag, uh, nagiging slope natin dito is yung 120 na number. Okay, and then yung parang yung y-intercept natin dito is yung 200. So, ganyan lang po yung pag-represent ng uh, problem natin using a linear function. So, again, we can write it as C of X is equal to 200 plus 120X or C of X is equal to 120X plus 200 where X is the number of hours of labor. So for letter B, construct a table of values to show the total charge for the first 3 hours. So, ito po yung table of values wherein yung X, ito po yung number of hours. And then yung C of X naman, it's, ito yung total cost, yung total charge. So, yung ating uh, function kanina is C of X equals 120x plus 200. Okay, so ang gagawin lang po natin dito is isa-substitute natin yung 1, 2, and 3 in place of x. So for example, c of x is equal to 120x plus 200. So dunan muna tayo sa 1. So c of 1 is equal to 120 times 1 plus 
200. And then, the product of 120 and 1 is 120 plus 200. And then, we'll just add 120 and 200. So, C of 1 is equal to 320. So, ibig sabihin, so, kung 1 hour ang labor ni Jerry, so, ang babayaran po ng customer is 320 pesos. So, sulat natin dito is 320. And then, C of 2 naman equals 120 times 2 plus 200. And then, again, we will multiply 120 by 2 naman ngayon. So, 120 by 2, that is 240 plus 200. So, C of 2 is equal to the sum of 240 and 200 which is 440. So, ibig sabihin kung 2 hours naman, 440 pesos ang babayaran ng customer. Lastly, C of 3, so kung 3 hours naman, so 120 times 3 plus 200. So, C of 3 is equal to the product of 120 and 3 is 360 plus 200 and then we'll just add 360 and 200 and that is 560 so kung 3 hours naman ang babayaran ng customer is 560 pesos so yan po ang uh, total cost or total charge ng isang customer for the first 3 hours so for the first hour 300 pesos on the second hour, 400 pesos, and then 560 pesos on the third hour. So for the last question, so if Jerry was able to finish repairing a refrigerator to one of his customers in 7 hours, what will be the total charge for his labor? Okay. So we're writing the given function. So C of X is equal to 120X plus 200 so, since we're looking for the total charge for his labor na 7 hours, so, magiging C of 7. So, isa substitute natin yung 7 in place of X. So, that is 120 times 7 plus 200. And then, we'll just multiply 120 and 7 and that is 840 plus 200. And then, get the sum of 840 and 200. So, uh, sum will be 1,040. So, it means 1,040 will be the total charge of Jerry's labor. So, 1,400 1, 1,040. So, let's have problem number 2. Mary is tracking the progress of her, her plant's growth. Today, the plant is already 6 cm high. The plant grows 1.5 cm per day. So, si Mary, tinatrack niya. So, tinitignan niya yung paglaki ng kanyang itinanim na halaman. And then, on a particular day, so yung plant down niya is already 6 cm high. And then, yung plant niya nag-grow each day ng 1.5 cm per day. So for letter A, write a linear function to represent the height of the plant after x days. So kagaya lang ng problem number 1, we will represent the given problem using a linear function. And then, we will grab the function to show the height of Mary's plant for the five, first 5 days. So, since na-discuss ko na po kung paano yung process ng pag ng linear function, so, nakagaya lang din ng linear equation. So, almost the same lang sila. So, ipapakita din po natin yung uh, graph ng function na makukuha natin. And then, after that, what will be the plant's height after 30 days? So, as long as meron na tayong linear function na represent natin yung given problem, it would be easy for us to uh, determine the plant's height after 30 days. So, for our solution, so letter A, write a linear function to represent the height of the plant after x days. So, pwede nating isulat yung ating function. 
as f of x is equal to mx plus b, di ba? And then, yung ating magsisilbing slope dito is yung 1.5 cm. So, we'll write as 1.5x plus, and then, yung uh, height ng plant today. So, on a, on a particular day, which is 6. So, ibig sabihin nyo, ating given function is f of x is equal to 1.5x plus 6. Where x is the number of days. So, grab the function to show the height of Mary's plant for the first 5 days. So, in order to grab the function, we will use a table of values. Wherein, we will substitute the value of x, yung days, to the given function f of x is equal to 1.5x plus 6. So, here is the table of value. So, wherein x is the number of days. And then, f of x is the height of the plant for the first 5 days. So, ayan po yung ating given function. And then, we will substitute x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the given function. So, ganito lang siya. f of 1 is equal to 1.5 times 1 plus 6. f of 1 is equal to 1.5 times 1, that is 1.5 plus 6. And then, we'll just add. So, f of 1 is equal to the sum of 1.5 and 6, that is 7.5. So, ibig sabihin, the first day, 7.5 centimeters na yung height nung plant. And then, on the second day, so f of 2 is equal to 1.5 times 2 plus 6. f of 2 is equal to the product of 1.5 and 2 is 3 plus 6. So, f of 2 is equal to 9. So, 9 centimeters naman on the second day. And then, on the third day, f of 3 is equal to 1.5 times 3 plus 6. So, f of 3 is equal to the product of 1.5 and 3 is 4.5 plus 6. That is 10.5. And then, on the fourth day, so f of 4 is equal to 1.5 times 4 plus 6. So, f of 4 is equal to the product of 1.5 and 4, that is 6, plus 6. So, f of 4 is equal to 12. And then lastly, f of 5 is equal to 1.5 times 5 plus 6. So, product of 1.5 and 5 is 7.5 plus 6. And that is 13.5. So, ayan na po yung mga height ng uh, nung plant na itinanim for the first 5 days. So, 7.5 cm, 9 cm, 10.5 cm, 12 cm, and 13.5 cm. So, in technique lang naman dito, so, dun sa 7.5, mag-add ka lang ng constant na 1.5. So, 7.5 plus 1.5 will give you 9. So, yun lang yung technique niya. Next, summarizing the results using a table. So, isa-summarize natin yung mga nakuha nating values ng f of x. So, using a table. So, ayan siya. So, x is the number of days and then f of x is the height plant during uh, the first 5 days. So, yan po yung mga nakuha nating height. Dahil nag-grow yung halaman, yung f of x is increasing, syempre. Next, igagrap naman natin ngayon yung ating given... Uh, Function. So, since naka-obtain na tayo ng mga points kanina, ang gagawin lang natin doon is, we will plot all point, points in the coordinate plane and connect them. So, yung graph po ng linear function is a straight line, just like linear equation. So, yung mga points po natin, ayan. So, x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then f of x, ayan. So, una natin ipa-plot is 1 and 7.5. So, based dito sa ating graph, Meron tayo ditong uh, 
vertical tsaka horizontal axis. So, yung vertical axis natin dito is yung height in centimeters, yung f of x. And then, sa horizontal axis naman is yung time in days. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, yung interval natin dito is by 3. So, let's plot 1 and 7.5. So, sa pagpa-plot, nauna po tayo dun sa x coordinate and then dun sa y. So, ayan. Ito po yung 1. And then, yung 7.5, nasa gitna po siya ng 6 and 9. So, ayan po yung uh, 1 and 7.5. And then, yung 2 and 9 naman, ayan. And then, yung 3 and 10.5, yung nasa gitna ng 9 and 12. And then, yung 4, 12, ayan, saktong-sakto siya. And then, lastly, during the uh, 5th day, so, 13.5, nasa gitna po ng 12 and 15. So, yan po yung kanyang mga points na naiplat na natin sa plane. And then, ang gagawin lang natin nito is i-coconnect natin itong mga points para makita natin yung graph ng linear function. So, straight line din po ang kanyang graph. So, pag ginanek natin yung mga points, ayan siya. So, straight line po ang ating makikita. So, yan po ang f of x is equal to 1.5x plus 6. Next, for the last question, what will be the plant's height after 30 days? So, yung ating uh, function is f of x is equal to 1.5x plus 6. So, we'll just substitute 30. So, f of 30 is equal to 1.5 times 30 plus 6. And then, if we will multiply 1.5 by 30, we'll get 45 plus 6. So, f of 30 is equal to 31. So, for our conclusion, the height of Mary, Mary's plants, plant after 30 days is 51 centimeters. So, after nating i-discussing linear functions, so we'll now move on to another topic. So, the next topic natin is if-then statements. So, sa if-then statements na yan, so, wala naman po tayong isosolve dyan. So, we'll, we'll be talking about uh, sentences, statements, wherein we'll have to identify the hypothesis and conclusion of a given statement. So, yan lang. Maraming salamat.